Hi everyone, so today's topic is men. Like, I feel at the moment that men are all the same, seriously. Like, you might have seen um, the past two videos that I put up, which I've, I've actually deleted because I just, I don't know, I didn't want those specific people to kind of like come across my videos and see them and just think, oh, okay, well, whatever. But um, basically, the video where I talked about how my ex broke up with me, the one I was with for seven years, and then the other one where I said that um, I actually found someone that I was really, really happy with and everything else like that. <laughs> so the way that that basically went down is that uh, I'd say he's pretty much messing with me. Um, I found him on Oasis Active, I think it was. And so, like, you know, we met up, everything was perfect uh, you know there's no complaints there and I felt really really happy um, just really like overwhelmed with really liking him because I connected with him so well um, and like I was always you know trying to get him to see me and everything else like that you know I sent a message saying oh you know you're coming tonight and everything else like that and I felt like every single night he was making up an excuse kind of not to see me and I'm thinking okay you met me like twice you said everything was fine um you know if there was an issue wouldn't you just turn around and be like sorry I'm not interested or you know this is not going to work out or whatever but he just kept saying like oh you know nothing's wrong and um you know, oh, I can't see you tonight, I've got this and this on and whatever. And then, like, you know, I tried to confront him about it. I said, you know, look, am I wasting my time and everything else like that? And he, he kind of, like, ignores the question and then talks about something else. Like, I, I don't understand that and I don't know why men do that. And, um, and then I think a week later I ended up finding him back on Oasis. Like, his profile was active again. And then I confronted him about that. I said, so why are you back on Oasis, you know? Um, and I basically said everything that, like, I felt and, you know, wanted to know why he would just randomly go put himself back up there for no reason if he was seeing me. Um, but then again, he wouldn't ever answer the question. He just talks about other things. And, you know, here I am thinking what the hell's going on and I'm still thinking that because he's still not answering the question and um last night he was meant to come over and then he said I'm gonna have a nap first before I come and I got all ready and everything else like that and yeah he never rocked up I said so I said to him today so I'm like so what happened and he said that his alarm didn't go off and that's why he didn't get up so I'm just like, okay then, whatever you say. And he's just kind of being all normal and stuff, but he's still sitting there on Oasis. So I don't get men and I don't know why they do it. And, you know, what's the point in tagging me along kind of thing? It's like, what, so you can go out, have your fun with other girls if that's what he's doing. But he's keeping me aside for this when he's ready to kind of settle down for the serious relationship. I don't know. Like, that's just what it seems like to me. I, I personally don't know what he does when he says, you know, look, I can't come around. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Um, you know, he could be at home just sleeping and just really can't be fucked coming over. But then again, it worries me when he's like sitting there on Oasis because for all I know he could be talking to other girls and then meeting up for them for just one thing um, with me like when we met and stuff he didn't try to do that so I'm not saying that he is like that but I'm trying to kind of understand the situation and I really don't understand what's going on here um, and like you know I have tried to speak to other guys and I just feel that to me that they're all the same they just all want one thing and every time I open myself up to somebody they just basically walk all over me and I fucking hate it I yeah I try to be nice as I can to people and you know try to be normal I guess um, but you know a lot of people said say to me oh you know why don't you just be a bitch like they're an asshole kind of thing and 
you know, that's just not me. I couldn't do that personally. Um, but I'm, I'm just hoping that everything kind of works out in the end for me. I mean, like, I haven't contacted my ex at all in, like, three weeks, I think it is. And, you know, I'm not going to sit there. Like, I, I, I do sit there and think, oh, you know, what's he doing and what's he up to and everything else like that. But then deep down it kind of hurts me knowing that he's with somebody else because he, you know, that's basically why he left me for another girl after seven years. And... Um, like, I am over it, like, it's not that, it's just that I want to, I just sit here sometimes and just think about it kind of thing, and I feel like that this is some sort of karma for me, I guess, because nothing's working out for me, like, I thought that it would, um, you know, him leaving and everything else like that, but, yeah, so far, nothing's kind of worked out for me, everything's just, like, kind of turned to shit, turned to crap and everything else like that. Um, and that's probably why I don't do much videos. I just, yeah, I don't know. Um, and also because like in my other videos, like comments and messages and stuff like that, people are just like, you know, you don't even do yourself up for videos and stuff like that. It's like, I don't give a shit. I'm not here to do videos to impress people. That That's not why I'm here. I mean, the way that you see me on camera right now is just me naturally and what I look like. I'm not going to sit there, stack on my makeup and get all dressed up and stuff just to get more views on my video. Um, that's not like that's just not me, that's not what I'm here for, I'm just here to talk about my problems and my issues that I have and you know I find that sometimes that that helps just letting it all out. I don't know who listens or watches my videos, I don't know. Maybe my ex is watching this right now, I really don't care. Either way I find that it helps me personally deal with shit and that's why I do it. And you know, you can go hate my videos, you can leave bad comments, whatever it is that you want to troll about, then do it. It's not going to make me stop doing videos, honestly. Um, you know, and I, I have seen other people that do the same thing. They just sit there and talk about their life and talk about, you know, what's been happening and everything else like that. Um, and, you know, that's kind of just what I'm doing here. Um, just have to kind of let it all out because I don't really have anyone else to talk to about it personally. Um, but I'm going to see how it, how it turns out. Like, yeah, probably stupid for like waiting around, but we'll just see, see where it goes. Um, so yeah, that's my quick little update, I guess you could say, of what's been happening. Um, so leave your comments below if there's anything that you need to say or if you've ever been in the same situation before where a guy's kind of like led you on type thing and you know how did you deal with it and do you think that this sounds like this guy is leading me on or kind of like keeping me aside for when he's ready to actually um, like settle down. I'm not really really sure but like, I do have a lot of feelings for this guy for some reason, and I just, like, I keep hanging on to him, although every single night there's, like, an excuse. I'm still there, just still talking to him. I don't get angry at him for some reason, and I'm not sure what the deal is with that or whether that is normal. Um, so, I don't know. And, like, like I said, he kind of avoids the question when I ask him, you know, why he's back on Oasis and everything else like that. So, um yeah so just let me know your thoughts and whatever so thanks for watching